This is Getting On With Life, Biblical Wisdom for Successful Christian Living. And this lesson is, Why Should I Doubt? Are you struggling with doubts? Some people always seem confident about things, while others seem stuck in the mud of hesitancy, doubt and uncertainty. What is going on when we struggle with doubt? And what can be done about it? Your most powerful capacity is your choice to believe. I say it's the most powerful because it is the one action that has eternal impact. When you choose to put your faith in Christ, your forever existence changes completely. All those people who can outperform you in smarts, strength, skill, talent, making money or whatever, can't use those things to save their soul and make them right with God. So those impressive things are of no importance if people fail to use their capacity to choose to believe in Jesus for salvation. Your enemy, the devil, can do you the most harm by attacking your ability to believe and stop you putting your faith in Christ. So one of the things he likes to do is promote doubt, uncertainty and confusion, as well as using deception to stop people becoming God's children. Then the enemy continues to tie people up in doubt so they can't boldly claim and live in the blessings of God. So it's no surprise that people struggle with doubt at times. Doubt works best against those who are fearful or hesitant. When people feel insecure, they can be afraid to make decisions in case they make the wrong choice. These people may look for reassurance or find they are forever researching things, afraid to finally make a decision. Some may be afraid of being mocked by others for their choices. They try to choose what others accept. However, they might at the same time also have a sense they should believe in something others don't like. A person in a non-Christian family can want to trust Christ, but fear the family reaction. Doubt can also come from competing ideas that storm in our minds. The enemy uses deception and wrong ideas to compete with the truth. Truth sets us free while deception and lies lock us up. It's a battle for your freedom. Add to that the enemy's strategy of demanding that what you choose to believe is based on facts and is reasonable. This is an interesting trick because it sounds reasonable and so wise. However, most of what you believe is not based on you knowing the facts, but you accepting the word of others. You believe what your parents and teachers taught you, even though you never proved what they said is true. And you also believe many things from inner conviction. You made up your own mind at a heart level that someone was nice or to be avoided. You have navigated through life making choices based on your own heart inclination of likes and dislikes, confidence and doubt. Resolving doubt is not done by scientific research, but by using your will. All choices have to come back to your will, since that is where choices are made. A choice to believe is an act of the will. A simple, temporary solution to doubt is to make a temporary choice. For example, you may have doubts about some new person you meet, not sure what to make of them. You can decide, Until I know more or have good reason to change my mind, I choose to accept this person as a good person who can be trusted. Or you might decide, Until I know I can trust that person, I choose to be guarded and not trust them freely. Making a temporary choice settles your position, but doesn't lock you into that choice forever. However, some things don't suit a temporary choice. Some decisions have such impact that a life-changing decision has to be made. Choice of career path, spouse, or whether to have another child are things we can't change our mind about easily. Decisions don't come with guarantees. And there is an element of risk in all our choices. However, failing to make a clear choice is itself a choice. It is a choice to be stuck in limbo. Leadership courses teach that a leader has to make decisions to keep things moving. The decision can be modified where needed, but it is better to make a clumsy decision than no decision at all. If you are given to fear, then check out my lessons that help you deal with fear. If you are given to insecurity, then follow my steps to release to become free of that. If you are controlled by other people's opinions, then also get free from that. 
If the devil has filled you with his lies and deception, then get free from that. God has given you your very own lever for controlling your eternal destiny. It's called your will. No one can take that from you. God has also given you the right to use your will and to be directly accountable to Him for how you use it. God wants you to be bold and confident in Him, doing what He instructs and using your will for your eternal blessing through Christ. Everything that stops you being in that place is the work of the enemy, trying to rob you of eternal life as God's child. So if you are stuck in the mud of doubt or being robbed of God's best by struggling over making decisions, let me pray for you. In Jesus' powerful name, I rebuke fear, confusion, deception, and doubt in your life. And I release the truth to set you free. I rebuke the enemy and command him to get his hands off your life. And I release you to become strong in faith and clear in decision, living faithfully for the Lord. And for you, you might like to use this prayer. Lord God, I cry out to you in Jesus' name. I ask you to deliver me from doubt and confusion and set my feet on solid rock so I can live a life of trusting you and living in the salvation that Jesus gives. Set me free from all the enemy's traps and guide me into the glorious freedom you have for me. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Next time you find yourself stuck in indecision about things, cry out to God to guide you. Stand on God's word and God's promises to you and step boldly into what God has for you, saying, Why should I doubt? God bless you.